What's up Miami Heat Talk fans? Your boy Ernest here, back with another Miami Heat Talk video. Happy Friday everyone, the weekend is here. We made it through another week. Now before we get started, don't forget to hit the like button, don't forget to subscribe. Would really appreciate your guys support while I'm trying to get the 4,000 subscribers. Now look, I wish I was coming here today with better news. I wish I was here to say the Miami Heat completed an undefeated record in the road trip. I wish I was here to say the Miami Heat won six straight. Can't say that though. Last night, the Miami Heat lose to the Denver Nuggets 103 to 97. The Miami Heat are at a 33 and 26 record. Uh, we're currently eighth in the Eastern Conference. Now, as you see today, you guys, there's not a big gap between the fourth seed to the eighth seed in the Eastern Conference. Uh, right now, the Miami Heat are only a game and a half down from the fourth seed. We are five and a half games down from the third seed. There's 22 games left in the season. There's a lot of basketball left to play. So the Miami Heat can easily go up in those standings. So I'm not worried about the standings right now because this is kind of how it was earlier in the season. You know, we've seen this a lot with playoff records in the East. One day you're eighth, the next day you're fourth, day after that you're seventh. This is going to happen all season long. Now, the only way that the Miami Heat can actually fix this is by winning some games you know you go three and one in this west coast trip so that's a beautiful thing for the miami heat um you really want to captivate and get a better seating in the eastern conference now i understand heat fans don't care where we're at because wherever we are we can win the playoff series definitely agree there but it's like I've said before, you don't want to play an extra game if you don't have to. Last year, the Miami Heat played two extra games that they didn't need to. So you don't want to do that. So if you can get at least the sixth seed, stay away from the play-in tournament, and you'll be able to get the Boston Celtics in the Eastern Conference Championship, which is my wish, then that's beautiful. Now look, if the Heat get the fourth seed, they're able to get home court advantage the first round and you play Boston in round two, I'm fine with that as well. But I just love an Eastern Conference Finals rematch of the Heat and Celtics to boost this rivalry. Now about last night's game, because a few things I want to talk about. Now look, we can give excuses. We could say, oh, well, you know, the Heat didn't win because we, don't ha we didn't have Tyler Hero. We didn't have Kevin Love. You know, you can make the same excuse for last year in the NBA Finals. Had we had some... Uh, scoring firepower like Tyler Hero coming off the bench for us, maybe the NBA Finals will be a little bit different. We could say all that, but excuses are excuses. That's not what the Miami Heat's all about. Because last night, the Heat should have won this game. And another reason why is because Jamal Murray from the Denver Nuggets rolls his ankle in the second quarter. When that happens, he leaves for the game. Now I feel it's an even playing field with Jamal Murray not in the game. The Heat still lose. The Heat were down by 15 points in the first half. We were able to scratch that deficit in the third quarter and keep the game close. So I understand that there's positives in this game. You know, even in every Miami Heat loss, I always try to look at the positives. What are a few positives? Well, Bam Adebayo outplays Nikola Jovic. That's one positive. Bam Adebayo gives you 22 points and eight rebounds. Um, Bam Adebayo has his work cut out there for him when he's defending Nikola Jokic because not only do you have to perform in the offensive end, but you're not punching out on the defensive end. Then you get Jimmy Butler. He goes, gives you 40 minutes, 21 points, 7 for 14, uh, 7 for 17 for the field. If you get a little bit of a better game from Jimmy Butler, you win this game. Uh, you get 19 points from Terry Rozier. I am loving how acclimated Rozier is with this lineup. Duncan Robinson gives you 12 starting. Nikola Jovic, uh, he starts 25 minutes. He gives you 7 points, 6 rebounds, 2 steals. He's a negative 16 out there. We know that he lacks on defense. But there were moments where he was going up against Aaron Gordon where I felt this is a better option than Haywood Highsmith or Caleb Martin. He's a bigger body. He's grown in size. Nikola Jovic has just got to get it with his defense. Once he gets it, this starting lineup is going to be optimal. It means we still have 22 games left in the season. The Heat can pull this off. I say leave Jovic as the starting power forward. You get th 13 points from Caleb Martin off the bench. And the bench is what I want to talk about, you guys, because this is another reason why we lost this game. 
You get 13 points from Caleb Martin off the bench. That's it. The only other person to score off the bench was Jaime Jaquez Jr. In 27 minutes, he gives you three points. This was an NBA Finals rematch. This was to test the waters. This is to see how you can compete with the Denver Nuggets. Yes, we lost this game. Yes, we were down by a lot in the first half. Yes, there's a lot of negative, but there is a lot of positives. We only lost by five. Our bench did not perform, which is not the normal. If Jaime Jaquez gives you at least 10 points, we win. Kevin Love doesn't play, so what do you have to do? You have to play 12 minutes of Orlando Robinson. That was trash. Kevin Love out there gives you better offensive firepower. But if we had Tyler Hero coming off this bench against the Denver Nuggets, ladies and gentlemen, not just in last night's game, but in the playoffs last year, I truly feel that the Miami Heat not only wins this game, but wins the NBA Finals. Give me one second, you guys. Y'all know I'm in the hustle here. Just a moment, guys. Thank you so much. I apologize, ladies and gentlemen. In the middle of my work grind, so I got to do a little few things here. But like I said, this is showing me that the Miami Heat can win against the Denver Nuggets. They can win against a Western team in the NBA Finals. We have been talking about this all season long, ladies and gentlemen. If this Miami Heat team is 100% healthy, and I'm not just saying that, I know that's an obvious thing to say. I know that when it comes to playoff time, health sometimes oversucceeds talent. Because sometimes the team with the most talent are injury hampered. So health is a big, big thing. So we need Tyler Hero back. Now, I know we've talked about videos in the past about possibly trading Tyler Hero, about P Kyler Hero coming off the bench. Last night proved it. We cannot win an NBA championship without all hands on deck. Because last year, in my opinion, had we had Tyler Hero in the NBA Finals, the result and the outcome may have been different. Maybe it would have been seven games instead of five. Maybe the Miami Heat would have won the series had we had Tyler Hero average, I don't know, like 15 points off the bench. I know he wasn't 100%, but he's a bucket getter. And last night against the Denver Nuggets, one thing I was noticing was the bench was getting their ass kicked by Denver. How, did you, how are you able to fix that? You take Boy Wonder, Tyler Hero, throw him out there against the second unit, and I swear to you guys, the outcome would be different. Because against the second unit, just like Manu Ginobili used to do against San Antonio, you'll ball against those guys. You'll be able to keep a lead. You'll be able to crush a deficit lead. That's my opinion. And you saw it out there, you guys. You get 12 points from Duncan Robinson, 19 from Terry Rozier, 22 from Bam Adebayo, 21 from Jimmy Butler, 7 from Nikola Jovic. That starting lineup, which I call the optimal starting lineup offensively, can do some damage. But if you're only getting 16 points from your bench, then yeah, that's a big reason why we lost this game. If we can implement Tyler Hero off that bench instead of DeLon Wright, you just slide Tyler Hero in there, put Kevin Love instead of Orlando Robinson in the playoffs, have Tyler Hero, Jaime Jaquez, Caleb Martin, and Kevin Love come off that bench. I promise you, ladies and gentlemen, the Miami Heat are going to be a difficult team to beat in a seven-game series. This is the optimal lineup. You're being proved it right now, especially against last night uh, in last night's game against Denver. Denver is as tough as they come. They give Miami such a huge problem with size. Nikola Jovic, Aaron Gordon, and Michael Porter Jr. are all 6'10 and over. Last night, Nikola Jokic did not perform the way he normally performed. Bam held him down. But it was Michael Porter dropping 30 points on us. That's the thing about Denver. If you contain Jokic and Murray, they still have other players that can do it to you. That's why Tyler Hero in a series like this, would be key. And again, you guys, I love Tyler Hero. I think Tyler Hero is going to be a big part on this team. I think Tyler Hero is going to be a big reason why we win an NBA championship. I just, in my heart, believe that the optimal starting lineup is what you're seeing. Bam Adebayo, 
Nikola Jovic, Jimmy Butler, Duncan Robinson, Terry Rozier. You have Tyler Hero as the sixth man. You have Jaime Jaquez and Caleb Martin coming off the bench for the wings. And you have Kevin Love replacing Bam Adebayo whenever he needs a break. That, ladies and gentlemen, is our best nine-man rotation moving forward. You can sprinkle some Josh Richardson. You can sprinkle some DeLon Wright to help you with defense. You have Haywood Highsmith out there to help you defensive as well. This team is set. This team is poised. And this team is ready to win the 2024 NBA championship. It's just all about health. And last night proved it. So, ladies and gentlemen, I want to hear from you. Do you feel that this team, currently constructed, can win the NBA championship? How do you feel about last night's game? And what do you think about the optimal lineup that I presented? Do you think that there's a better starting lineup? Do you think there's a, there's a better nine-man rotation? Let me know what you think in the comments, you guys. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Would really mean a lot to me. Enjoy your Friday. Enjoy your weekend. We got a game against Utah tomorrow. The easy schedule starts. I've called it before. March, the Miami Heat is going to be the most dangerous team. You got Utah tomorrow. You got Detroit next Tuesday. You got Dallas next Thursday. And then you got OKC next Friday. I think that he can go 3-1, and one, maybe even 4-0. and oh. We went 3-1 and one in the West Coast trip. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. Thank you so much for your time. And until next time, your boy Ernest out. That's enough said. Let's go Heat.